Now, we've been hearing a lot again this week about the proposed high-speed two-rail link joining London to the Midlands and beyond. First, the project's new chairman backed a big revamp of uh, Euston Station, but he also suggested that there should be no connection with the existing high-speed Channel Tunnel rail link, a saving of £700 million, pounds, we're told. Uh, then the government released a report which recommended there be a minister dedicated to making the project happen, and which also said that businesses, communities and councils along the route needed to start preparing preparing now so they can reap the economic uh, benefit. I'm pleased to say uh, uh, we're joined by, uh, from Manchester indeed, Liberal Democrat peer and Transport Minister uh, Baroness Susan Kramer. And during that introduction, Stephen Pound here pointed at you and said, well, there we are, the minister, <laughs> just the minister to do it. I, I, there is are that none the plan? better. <laughs> Well, it's kind of you, Stephen, but there is a minister. It's Secretary of State for Transport, Patrick okay. McLaughlin. Yes. I think if you look at the report, what they're actually suggesting is that we should look at something like a minister to coordinate uh, the economic development amongst the local communities and city centres, because in the Midlands and the North, that is absolutely crucial to realising the real benefits for Maychest too. Okay. And that is something we will look at just as we look at the rest of the report. OK, and so it may or may not be you one day. Do you accept that it's been a bit of a, a mess over Euston. We thought there was going to be, it was said that there would have to be a great uh, revamping of Euston to begin with. Then people went cold on the idea. Now it looks as if the suggestion is yes, and George Osborne supports it. We have got to go and do Euston properly. Do you accept this has been uh, a bit confusing, unsettling for local residents? Well, I'm glad that we're getting to the right answer. And it had to be a process of consultation and discussion. But what we're looking at now is a really ambitious plan. And you only have to look at the improvement that's have come at King's Cross at St Pancras to realise the enormous potential of Euston and really to contribute to the community around it. And it's so quite... we've got there. There's a lot of work to do. And it's quite near Euston, of course, to St Pancras. And, of course, you know, many people would think there's an, a massive logic to linking these two routes. I mean, how are, how are passengers, how do you want passengers passengers under this now revised plan to get from high speed two at Euston to high speed one at St Pancras if they want to go to France? Well, we want to do a big piece of work on how we properly link HS1 and HS2. That's, uh, what do you um, think? What's your instinct? Well, my, my instinct is that there is a substantial and effective way to do it. But we were absolutely, I think David Higgins was absolutely right to say that the proposal that was on the table just wasn't worth doing. It didn't come up to standard. I mean, the train was going to proceed at, what, 20 miles an hour. It could only be three trains an hour. A huge disruption to Camden Market and to much of the community, disruption to freight traffic, passenger traffic. Do you think it's completely it really ruled wasn't out then? The right, Do you think it's the totally right answer? ruled out that overground route now? And yeah, it, it, just, it just isn't the right answer. It just wasn't the right answer. And, and he made the right decision there. Now, what we will do is obviously there has to be um, a quick way to get from Euston to St Pancras. That's a, you can do that with travelators. You could do it on the crossrail. I mean, you can come through, uh, um, through uh, Old Oak Common. So there are lots of ways to do it, but we will actually be looking okay. at a substantial way to create a Steve, proper Steve, link, Stephen's which is what a little should bit happen about the, the travelator yeah. idea. Why? What do you I'm think? I'm sorry, I think this, this proves one of the, the new golden rules of politics. If you want to have anything stopped, make sure that Boris Johnson's dad lives right in the heart of where it's no, going this to happen. No, this is not... Uh, yeah, the yeah. HS1... How would you, you, hang on a second. No, you the know idea, much it sorry, the idea of a travelator so, uh, in along the Euston Road... I'm sorry, I just think that's bonkers. Not along the Euston Road. It's too expensive to do it otherwise. You know how much it would cost. There has to be a mechanism actually bringing the the two together and whether that's an extra line on the tube you know or whatever it, it's possible but it's not going well, to be well you will have cross rail yeah, but, so don't and you, worry I'm, about that I'm not that, entirely Steve, sure that Old Oak Common which um, we still call Wormwood Scrubs around my way is the answer that you, you kind of detrain at Wormwood Scrubs old, old Oak Common and then you come through to Euston that just seems to be incredibly complicated now look in many ways we've with the blight has already hit Camden people already anticipated this I cannot believe it is beyond the wit of woman and man to actually work out some subterranean system of actually linking the two together that's the answer not to destroy the, the ground level, Camden, but actually just to link the two. It just looks very odd. A quick last word. Lord Heseltine saying this week that he thinks people should be compensated along the route above market value. Um, what do you say? Well, we've done a property consultation. We should be coming back with our response to that fairly soon. I don't want to preempt that response because it will be detailed, but we've always said that we need to be generous in compensation. Great. Baroness Kramer, thanks very much indeed.